Okay, this video will do these three examples of dividing these polynomials by a monomial. So, this, this, and this. Okay, so please write down the first example. It's 12x squared times y cubed minus 48x squared times y all over negative 12xy. Okay, uh, so I hope you've written down the first example. I'll we'll, we'll go over it now. So, just like the other examples we did, when we have that division bar, it means divide everything by that. So, the first example we looked at was, you know, four apples and two bananas divided equally among two children. Each child got half of each quantity. They got each child got two apples and one banana, right? So, similarly, we divide each term by whatever's on the bottom, okay? So we're taking, we're dividing each term up here by the negative 12xy. So we're gonna write 12x squared y cubed over that and then that over that as well, right? Um, in fact, what I'd like to do is expand out the exponents just to make it easier to cross cancel. So 12xxyyy over negative 12xy and then minus 48x squared y xxy over negative 12xy. Okay, so that makes it, I've divided each term and expanding the, the, uh, ex the exponents, expo exponents uh, means that it's going to be easier to cross cancel. So if we take the first fraction, we can do 12 to 12 goes once here and here, right? x into x goes once, y into y goes once, and what are we left with? We've got x and two y's, x, y, y, and it's all over one, right? And it's a positive over a negative, so what's the sign? So the sign is negative, the sign is negative, x, y, y over one, which is just x and then y, y, y squared, right? Now I'll go to this one and we can cross cancel as well. 12 into 12 goes once, what's 12 into 48? 12 into 48 is 4, okay? And x into x goes once, x into x goes once, how about the y's? y into y goes once, y into y goes once, so we have 4 times x all over 1, right, so that's just 4x, and it's a negative over negative. What should the sign be? This is a negative over a negative. The sign should be positive, right? So that's the answer there. Now, write this one down and try it yourself. 28a squared b squared minus 2ab all over 4ab. So I'd like you to write this one down, press pause, and try it yourself. So remember, it, the whole thing is being divided by 4ab. So when you write it out, you got to make sure you go 28a squared aa b squared bb. So this guy all over 4ab minus this guy 2ab all over 4ab, right? So press pause and continue if, 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 if you can from here at least. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to walk through it now. So 4 into 4 goes once. What's 4 into 28? 4 times 7 is 28. So 4 to 28 goes 7 times. A into A goes once b into b goes once so here we're left with 7 a b all over 1 that's just 7 a b okay and it's positive here we have negative just one negative sign it's basically a negative over a positive so what should the sign of this guy be the sign should just be negative right if we cross cancel b into b goes once a into A goes once. 
2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 4 goes twice. What we have here is 1 times 1 times 1 over 2 times 1 times 1. 1 over 2. 1 half. 1 over 2, right? That's a 1 on the top and a 2 on the bottom. So 1 times 1 times 1 gives 1. 2 times 1 times 1 gives 2. That's why you get the half, right? So watch out for that. Okay, um, please write this one down and try to do it yourself. 15x squared y squared minus 5xy all over 5xy. So press pause on the video, write it down and try to do it yourself. Okay, I'll, I'll do it now. Hope you press pause and tried it. So you've got to divide everything by the 5xy. Not just the first term, not just the... Of course you divide the 15x squared y squared by this, but you must also divide this guy by this as well. So 15x squared, x squared is xx, y squared is yy, all over 5xy minus, and this guy as well, 5xy, he needs to be divided by 5xy also. Okay. So then you can cross cancel. 5 to 5 goes once, 5 to 15 goes 3 times, x to x goes once, y to y goes once. So here you're left with 3 times 1 times x times 1 times y all over 1. Anyway, the top is 3 times x times y, 3xy. The bottom is 1 times 1 times 1, the bottom is just 1. So it's 3xy over 1 or just 3xy, right? And we can cross cancel here as well. 5 to 5 goes once here and here. X to X goes once. Y to Y goes once. And this gets gives you 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1 over 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1. 1 over 1 is just 1. So it's 3XY minus 1. Okay?